Mr. Peter Obi is campaigning in a Kwaibom state alongside his wife, who is a daughter of the soil. He pays homage to the State Council of Traditional Rulers, where they urged him to keep his promises to the people of the state as their in-law. He then moves to the Unity Park, where his presidential rally is holding. Mr. Obi promises to revive the Ibom Deep Sea port that will give jobs to thousands of jobless youths. I was told that the most important thing to the people of Akwa Ibom is the Deep Sea port. And I told the, and I told the PCC chairman, Okon, that when I finish from here, a helicopter will take me there to see it. So that when I start, we will put it in practice. His wife also addresses a king's man. We have a candidate that can unify Nigeria, that can bring support to Nigeria. Our children will be able to go to school and come back and have jobs. Our women will be able to have what to do. The country will be won. What we are asking now is for us to take back our country. The time has come. The country belongs to you and me. We want Nigerians to be proud to be Nigerians. From the campaign ground, Mr. Obi proceeds on an assessment tour of the Ibom Deep Sea port with members of his team who are familiar with the project. This is the ocean. And then there is an island that shows... After arriving, they speak exclusively to channels television. The facility I was able to inspect today if developed, will go a long way in contributing, in building the production-led Nigeria we envisage. Because it will be export. Everything is about export. That's why you're going to turn around this country when we manufacture for export. That facility, look at it, gas, just a few kilometers away, that you can just develop the entire place to be a gas to chemical hub with other indoor manufacturing industries and everything focused for export. Natural ocean terminal. Do you know that was the only asset of Singapore? That a, a natural entrepot. They converted it into one of the wealthiest countries in Asia. Just that thing. Then you take the allied things. The fact that gas is abundantly available. Exxon Mobil is out there in Eket, and gas free from there could create an industrial complex that would produce just about anything you can imagine. Mr. Obi also speaks on recent developments about the director general of his campaign. It's a very unfortunate situation. I'm looking at it, but we are going to obey the law and everything. For me, the law has taken its course and we have to respect it, and we have to move on. Earlier in the day, the presidential candidate had an interactive session with university students and also paid a private visit to the former prelate of the Methodist Church, His Eminence, Reverend Sunday Mbank.